Mm-hmm. All right, welcome to another week of Women's Soccer Interviews here with Coach Miller. Uh, Coach, you picked up the first win last week against Erskine, um, followed that up with a tough match against Wingate. Can um, you tell us your thoughts on those two matches last week? Yeah, you know, uh, last week was a, a difficult week for scheduling purposes because we played a game on Wednesday, mm-hmm. and then we had a one-day turnaround to play a game on uh, Friday. Uh, one was a non-conference game Wednesday or against Erskine was non-conference, and then Friday was uh, against Wingate, who was a uh, preseason pick to be one of the top three teams within the within the conference this year. And Wednesday was was a great day. Uh, we were able to fight back from a, a 1-0 deficit, a game that we pretty much I would say we pretty much controlled the match. Mm-hmm. Uh, just we're not able to put the ball in the net early. Uh, kind of gave up a, a, a goal in the first half. Um, they didn't really create much with that, but we bounced back after halftime. Put them under a lot of pressure, and we were able to come out with a, with a win, which was our first one of the season. And it was it was good to see our efforts being rewarded for what we were trying to create. And some of those same things in the previous games of the year, and then turn around and play in a difficult winged opponent homecoming weekend, we maybe didn't put our best foot forward in that game. I thought we competed for the most part in certain areas, and then uh, in certain areas of the game we didn't compete, uh, so we, were, we weren't totally focused, I think, from the coaching staff and from the player standpoint, and, and unfortunately we, we didn't get the result uh, that we like in that game. Um, two conference games this week, you got LR and Coker, uh, six left in the season. Um, what did you see last week to sort of build going forward into these next couple matches? Well, the last three games, uh, we've had two conference games and one non-conference game. So we got a point, our first conference point against Anderson, which uh, a game I definitely thought we could have won, even though they had more corners than we had. We had, uh, I thought, the better scoring opportunities. So we picked up a, a point in that game. Uh, Erskine, a non-conference game, which showed that we can actually finish with something that we've been struggling with a little bit this year. We're creating opportunities, just not actually putting the ball in the net. Uh, Wingate, a uh, tough opponent. We, we had some opportunities again in that game also, but kind of reverted back to some of the same philosophies or mentalities that we had in previous games for not putting the ball in that. But I think showing that we've gotten a, a win, a tie, and a draw in the last three matches, showing that we're making progress and we're continuing to fight uh, and, and still compete for things. Two conference games this week, which gives us a great opportunity to get back into uh, the conference pitcher uh, to where we're, I mean, trying to get into the conference tournament. So we have six games left to try to do that. We only take eight of the 12 teams mm-hmm. for that. So I think we have a great opportunity to go and try to get a result against LR. And then a um, home game against Coker should be another good opportunity for us to you know, try to pick up two wins there if we possibly can. What do you look for from those two teams this week? Uh, LR is kind of traditionally a powerhouse mm-hmm. in this conference. And then obviously Coker is kind of a newcomer here. Yeah, I think um, as long as what I've been trying to tell the girls this year is, you know, again, our motto is take every game one game at a time. But I, I really believe that if we come with the right mindset and mentality, this team has a lot of talented players on it. And if we're focused and we go out there and we execute and, and don't let the moment be bigger, then I think we have a great opportunity. And I, I like our chances. I don't, I don't see any team in our conference being, like, overpowering uh, compared to us. But if we go in there and we believe that we can win and we execute, I like our chances against on Wednesday and I like our chances on Saturday. We'll just take up each one game at a time and hopefully we're able to execute when we need to and, and reap the benefits of that. All right. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. Here with Rachel Blom, she's a winger on the women's soccer team. And Rachel, welcome. Um, the team picked up their first one last week. Can you talk a little bit about the attitude after picking that up and what the team's trying to do going forward? Um, I think our attitude after the game on Wednesday was it was very positive because we finished we finished the ball very well. Like I personally couldn't play in that game because I've been out for five weeks, but today I actually got cleared today, so. Good deal. Yeah, so I'm really excited about that. But like, I think just taking that game and then just looking forward, and then um, if we play like how we play, how we've been playing, and just fix the little things, I think that we'll do well. Um, since you've been out, what are you gonna do to kind of get back in the flow of things? How can you? How do you think you can help the team going forward? Um, I just I hope as a winger, I can just do my job and try and contribute to a win. 
Uh, what is it you kind of do as a winger? I mean, some people might not be too familiar <laughs> with what you're calling a winger. Are you kind of in the mid? What are you doing? Um, the the it's like an outside forward. So, I mean, you kind of have, you do have to come back and defend when needed, when the outside back needs you, but you try to get forward and like make crosses in and like go in and try and score at least, or make like the center forward like score. Okay. Um, two big conference matches this week, and then, you know, a lot of the conference schedule still left. Um, what do you think the team needs to do to sort of make that run and get to the sack tournament? Um, I think we definitely need to play hard against LR. They're definitely the, not really a powerhouse per se, but they've always been like the tougher team. And I think we need to just go into that game thinking that we can do it and believe in ourselves because I think we're a very good team. All right. Thanks. All right, here with freshman midfielder Jordan Allen. Uh, welcome. Um, again, we've been talking about you know picking up that first win uh, last week. What do you think that's done for the team's confidence? Um, I think in general we were struggling trying to win in general and trying to finish, and then finally just actually finishing in a game and actually winning and made us realize that we are the team that we can be in general. Um, what's your role sort of in the midfield? Are you more of a defensive mind or are you trying to move the ball forward? Um, well, the way that like coming from like high school and football into college, I definitely think it's completely different. I think that the midfield in college is a lot more defense and you really don't get to penetrate forward that much because you're defending a lot because it's really right there in the midfield is where everything's going on, but you can't attack. It just doesn't happen a lot for has that been the biggest change for you coming in as a freshman to get used to? Yeah, definitely. And the aggressiveness is a completely different level. So, yeah. Okay. Um, how do you think you can help the team moving forward just going into this conference stretch here towards the end of the season? Um, I think that every single, the rest of the conference games are definitely winnable for us, like, especially because we played Wingate. And I thought we performed well in that game. And I think we have an opportunity to do the same Wednesday. And I just want to keep my mentality positive and help everyone else be positive. So that we can get a win. All right. Thanks. Thank you. All right. Women's soccer travels to Lenore Rhine Wednesday at 5 o'clock, and they'll be here against Coker Saturday at 2 o'clock. That game will be live streamed on our website. You can check it out on ustream.tv slash Marcel Lions. Thanks for joining, and we'll be back for another round next week of women's soccer interviews.